What's right? What's wrong? How do I know the difference? What's good? What's bad? How can I make good choices? With Philo and Sophie and all of their friends I want to be my very best me With Philo, the penguin, and Sophie Stop being your friend just because you're following the rules and wearing a swimming cap. But I want to look pretty. Sophie, wanting to look pretty is a good thing, but it's only happiness level one. It's not as important as happiness level three. Caring about other people by keeping the beach clean is more important than how you look. Yeah, Sophie, if you care more about yourself than about doing what's right, that's a bad choice. What's a bad choice? Well, you know what a choice is, right? Mm hmm. A choice is when you compare two or more things and then you pick one of them. What's wrong with making choices? Isn't that a good thing? Choices can be good, but they can also be bad. If you choose to hurt someone else in order to get what you want, that's a bad choice. I'm confused. Well, think of it like you're walking down the street and you see the ice cream truck. You want ice cream. That's happiness level one, right? Right. And it's good to enjoy ice cream, isn't it? Well, of course it's good to enjoy ice cream, Jessica. Right, but what if there's a guy on crutches between you and the ice cream truck, and he's in your way, but the ice cream truck is leaving, and in order to get to it before it leaves, you have to shove the guy on crutches out of the way so that he falls down. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? Uh, a bad choice? A very bad choice. Uh. Right. It's a bad choice because you could have chosen a higher level of happiness, level three, taking care of the guy on crutches. But instead, you chose a lower level of happiness, level one, getting ice cream for yourself. I see. Well, there's no ice cream truck around here, and there's no guy on crutches, so I'm not wearing a swimming cap. <laughs> what? Well, we better go swimming before the sun goes down. Okay. Ready? One, One, two, two three! Oh, what on earth is all this red stringy stuff? I don't know, but it sure doesn't look like seaweed to me. Hello, audience! Welcome to Choose Your Happiness. The object of the game is to choose the best level of happiness. The winner receives one million jelly beans. Oh. <laughs> now remember, a choice is when you compare two or more things and you select one of them instead of the other. Make sure you choose the best level. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Wonderful. Press the buzzer if you know the answer. Here are your choices. You are at a party, and there is an enormous bowl of potato chips on the counter. Do you, A, grab the bowl and eat all of the potato chips by yourself? 
B. Dump the bowl of potato chips on the head of someone at the party whom you don't like. Or C. Offer the potato chips to a hungry-looking person standing next to you and then take a few to enjoy for yourself. <coughs> uh, A. Eat all the potato chips yourself? That is incorrect! Choosing to eat all potato chips yourself makes happiness level one more important than happiness level three. The better choice would have been... Oh, uh, offer the potato chips to the hungry-looking person and then have some for yourself? Precisely, Philo! Oh. I'm sorry, Bob, you lose! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Get ready for question number two. You are playing a game of soccer, and the other team wins. Do you, A, rush ahead of everyone so you can get to the hot dogs and soda pop first? B, yell at the referee and call him a blubbering, bulbous baboon? Or C, thank the referee and congratulate the other team for playing well? <laughs> it's B. B. Yell at the referee and call him a blubbering, bulbous baboon. That is incorrect! What? Calling the referee names and being a bad sport makes happiness level two more important than happiness level three. The better choice would have been to... Uh, thank the referee and congratulate the other team for playing well? Exactly, Philo! I'm sorry, Talia, but you lose! Ugh. Question number three. You are with your family at church, and the story of Jesus healing the blind man is being read from the pulpit. Do you, A, look around to see if your friends are there? B, think about how angry you are at your baby brother for coloring on your favorite pair of rain boots? Or C, listen carefully to the gospel message about how we can love others the way God loves us. I hit it first. Uh, no, I, I think I no, did. No, 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 I, no, 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 you have both already lost. It's Philo's turn. Well, the best choice is C, listen carefully to the gospel message. That is absolutely correct. Oh, Happiness what? level Ladies and gentlemen, Philo is the winner! Oh. Unbelievable! Oh. Oh. This is just incredible! I'm so excited! Oh. Oh. Unbelievable! Oh. This is just incredible! I'm so excited! Oh. I think I'm going to faint! Oh. Thank you! Thank you! Sophie, you're in perfect health. Mm. Have you been getting 10 hours of sleep and eating lots of seaweed? Yeah, and I swim a lot, too. That's great. Mm -hmm. You need to take good care of your very special body. My body is special? It sure is, uh. for lots of reasons. But for one thing, when you get older, your body is designed to grow a brand new little baby mermaid inside your tummy. Oh. Dr. Olsen, how come you know so much about babies? I've taken care of a lot of unborn babies and their pregnant mothers. What's pregnant? Is that a disease? Oh. No, pregnant is a good thing. Oh. It's when God puts a brand new little person inside a mommy's tummy. Oh, wow. Well, how come you gotta take care of them? Well, when the baby starts out, he's very little and it's easy for him to get hurt. Oh, oh. like how? Well, like eating the wrong kinds of food, like mm. junk food, hot dogs, mm. shellfish. A oh, oh, shellfish? Well, what's the mom supposed to eat? Oh, healthy things like avocados, well, sweet potatoes, uh, eggs. Oh, I don't like eggs. Mm -mm. Well, look at this. Hmm. When an unborn baby starts out, it's about the size of the point on this pin. Oh. Ow! Ow! Mm. Are you okay, Sophie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's a real person with a soul, but his body hasn't fully formed yet. So it's important that the mother eat the right things so his body can grow right. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Uh, what else can hurt the baby? Well, smoking cigarettes can damage oh. the baby's lungs and his brain. Yeah, people shouldn't smoke anyway. It's bad for everybody. That's right. 
And some exercises can be bad for the baby, like lifting weights or heavy objects. Hey, we can get Frank to lift the heavy stuff. He's really strong. He sure is. Mm -hmm. And a pregnant mother should never play a game where a ball or another player might run into her tummy. That would hurt the baby. Wow, that baby's really delicate. He sure is. Mm -hmm. A pregnant mother can't even take certain kinds of medicines because they would hurt the baby. <sighs> wow, being pregnant sounds really hard. It's one of the most wonderful and exciting things a woman can do. Mm. Yeah, but how's the mother supposed to be happy when she's got to give up all that stuff? Putting the baby's needs in front of her own needs is a different kind of happiness. It's a better and deeper kind of happiness. Mm. It's the kind of happiness that God wants us to have. Okay, but how much does she have to give up? Well, have you heard the story of Jana Beretta Mola? Mm, no, who's she? She's a real doctor, just like I am. When she was pregnant with her fourth child, she became very sick. <gasps> the doctors told her that she would die unless <gasps> they took her baby out. But the baby wasn't old enough to be born yet. No. That would have made the baby die. So Gianna said no. Good. She told the doctors that her baby's life was just as important as her own. Mm -hmm. After a little girl was born safely, the doctors tried to save Gianna, but it was too late. Oh. She died saving her little daughter's life. Wow, that's a lot of love! <laughs> it sure is, but we all have to give something up. Mm. Your own mother had to give up seaweed when she was pregnant with you. She did? Yep, seaweed made her feel sick. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Sophie, mm -hmm. it's time for you to go. Oh. My next patient is coming in soon. I'll see you again, right? Okay, thanks, Dr. Olson. Uh, by the way, who's your next patient? I don't know. The nurse said something about some guy getting a bunch of long red hair stuck to him at the beach, and he can't get it off. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I gotta go now, Doctor. Thanks a lot. Bye! Oh! Hey, Doc! Activities and parent teacher resources that teach happiness, logic, and virtue. Visit philoandsophie.org.